Hello everybody. Uh, I'm sorry about the hum on the microphone. I've, I've been rearranging some stuff in my setup here and I've, I've reintroduced the hum in the microphone. I don't know how or why, but so bear with me, all right? Uh, I need to test some stuff today. So I need to test this 1030 modem to make sure it will get online just make sure it's working I also need to test out a 1050 disk drive that I had purchased with a, a 1200XL a while back that uh, I test out the 1200XL but I never got around to testing the disk drive I need to test that I also need to test a, a, a data set that I had gotten to go with my Commodore VIC-20 and uh, so I need to do that as well. So the first thing is I'm going to test this 1030 modem with this 1200XL. So let's do that now. Okay, I'm going to turn this on. Wink. It's on. Turn on 1200XL. I will try to get screen capture, but uh, no guarantees about that. I've been having problems with my video going over. I, I'll try that now, though. Hang on. I, it probably looks a little dark. Let me see if I can fix that. Hang on. Just got to do some switching here. Let's see if it's going to fix it. Uh, I don't look too bad, I think. All right, might be a little bit bright, but I think it's okay. All right, so I'm going to first dial this. I think it's a government timekeeping service. I'm not sure. Let's see if that's right. 303-494-474. Yeah, looks right. Stalin. What is the modem? The radio light on the modem is not on. Oh, there it is. Radio light's on on the modem. Yep, okay. Connected. So, ooh, what is that? Header information, maybe. All right, so it's working, and what? Do a question mark, and it's supposed to give a little explanation. Yeah, the service uses multi-speed modems, which should automatically adapt to the speed of the originating modem. All messages are sent using standard ASCII characters with eight bits, no priority, and one stop bit. Okay, and I think that's what this is set up to do. Uh, this little terminal program, is man that's yeah I think the screen's way too bright I'm not sure let me switch back uh, yeah that's a white screen let me see if I can fix that well maybe all right got good video all right so it's working i think to disconnect i go option escape yeah line disconnected okay so the telephone modem works that's fantastic and maybe, oh yeah i disconnected that's why the radio light ain't on all right so the modem works Later on, I'm going to take this apart and figure out what's wrong with my two other 1030 modems. Uh, they're not working at all, so who knows. I, know, I did notice that the power supply for this thing gets extremely hot right there. So, all right, I'm going to turn this off, turn the modem off. I'm going to try to dig out 
1050 disk drive. We'll keep this SIO cable. And I need a power supply for the 1050. And then kind of another issue. I don't know which 1050 was the last one I bought. I got it with a 1200 XL, like I said before. But I gotta dig all this stuff out. Half of a 1450XLD. <laughs> uh, there's a guy on YouTube that's got a hard 400, well, 1400. That's pretty cool. Let me see if I can rummage up a power supply. I may have made a mistake. I may need to move the basic cartridge and turn it back on. Yeah, cool beans. All right. So this disk drive works, but that may have been one that I've already had that worked. I don't remember. So, turn off the computer. Disk out. Turn the drive off. And get this other disk drive.
cable car. Really? In there. Now one of these drives may not work. I may have one set to like drive two or drive one. I forgot the sequence of that. Uh, okay. That's in there. Put a lot on. Put a monitor. Two of these jobs work, but I got one with a might have been with this 400 XL. I just never tested it, you know. I just never did. You know how it goes. You get busy with other things and it just, you know, slips the mind. Uh, one more thing I need to test. And yeah, I really should be programming on the Commodore 64. It's just, uh, I just, I need to test these real quick just because I haven't done it, you know, and I know I need to. Now, if I unplug, or, all right, so here, got uh, uh, the Vic 20. I had, I had to cut the video. Uh, had audio problems anyway. So here's the Vic 20. I need to get the data set drive. This VIC-20, I think it's going to, sooner or later, it's going to need another VIC chip. I'm not sure, but it seems like it's got 
video problems. But it does work. But, you know, it seems like the video's kind of wanting to go out of it. So it turns on. Say the video's a weird color. thinking you know I, I should have known that I've repaired cassette drives before but <laughs> somebody all right this came with a data set so I don't know what's going on with this uh, somebody wrote a little program apparently to be loading anything. Let me see. Uh, let's just reboot the computer. Alright, I know there's a program called Demo on there. to be cleaned. I haven't taken it apart or anything. <laughs> Somebody's got a sense of humor. I don't know if I want to load that or not. Like I said, that tape came with this drive. Okay, there's demo. It's loading demo. I hope this ain't some kind of weird stuff. There's no tell what's on this tape. I remember when I got this data set. I think maybe, uh oh, it loaded it, whatever it is. Uh. This is a, that might be a Commodore 64 program. Only one way to find out. Nothing's happening. Maybe it's uh But anyway, that's it, it doesn't matter. It loaded it. So this data set is working. I probably need to take it apart and clean it up and oil it and whatever, but uh and it it might need a new belt on it. Cause it was running kind of sluggish at first, but it's working. So uh, now that I got all that out of the way, now I will get started on the Com Commodore 64 Simon's Basic game. Alright, see you in a little bit.